Hey everyone, this is Jared and MML. This should be my sit down and review video of Miku. If you haven't seen this type of review video before on my channel, for World of Horror specifically, I'm going to go through the characters mainly from a gameplay aspect. So yeah, I know some of them are waifus and aesthetically and going through the lore, they look pretty good, but I'm going to go through the character based on how they work in game. I'm not going to really give them a score, it's mainly going to be my opinion as well based on my experiences and knowledge and a little bit of research, but I'm going to be acting as though I'm sitting down and talking to someone about how the character works, where they're efficient, where things may not work out, and then go through a soft run whether I survive or not. doesn't really matter, but I am going to be using the character I'm reviewing. So let's get into it. Miku is a lot of people's favorite, a lot of players' favorite character to go with, if not just for the aesthetic like I said, then just because, well, She's a waifu material, but she does have her own gameplay aspect that I can see why people would like her as well. I'll get into it when I get in-game, so we are going to go over the backstory, then the old gods, and then we'll start with her base stats and her passive quote-unquote before getting into our perks and then the rest of the run. So let's just get into it. World of War backstory. Miku with her passive, it's... On a regular backstory, you have more leeway to work with. You don't. It's more that on a on a World of Horror or a normal backstory with no backstory, pretty much, then you don't have to worry about anything else happening. You can just focus on building Miku however you want her to be built, because she can kind of be built almost anything. Yes, she does have higher base strength and lower perception, so firearms are a man. But usually, you're using firearms to shoot bosses anyway, so that's kind of not fair to say perception. And I also weigh base stats or building into stats less because you can just build into the stat. The time reduction doesn't really matter, although it can make a difference, so that is something you need to make sure of before building Miku into perception. So there's that. Otherwise, you're building her strength, which is very good because a lot of weapons in this game that you usually pick up are strength-based weapons. And a lot of free weapons you pick up are also strength-based weapons. There's one particular dex weapon that you may pick up that is the best weapon in the game, but that's dexterity. Otherwise, that weapon doesn't really matter anyway that it's dexterity-based, because you're just slashing through things anyway. So, World of War, as it relates to the World of War backstory, it's the more neutral of them all, which is the same for every character, so there's not really anything just else to say about that. Let's set the stupid lever really quick. Medical history, on the other hand, with Miku, some of Miku's perks, is somewhat mitigated if you build into those perks. As normal players will nor or the average player will normally play through, you might not make the most of it, but with some knowledge you can work through this medical history just fine. Of course, if you stack too many bad injuries, that can kind of ruin a run, but that ruins every character's run. For Miku specifically, it does help out, and with her passive, it helps get you through encounters much more easily. Of course, if you're in an encounter for any prolonged amount of time, either due to, well, you just couldn't get prep as Miku, or you're in early game as Miku, then the medical history can be a problem. Same with Hunted by the Cult, which is also encounter-based in another sense, where you run into specific encounters. These are not a problem as long as you don't run into them early as Miku before you're prepped up because Miku is that character where she needs some prep or she needs some time because of how her mechanic works. Seventh Curse, on the other hand, doesn't really affect Miku as much. In fact, it helps her out because at least early game, she, that's where she struggles. With these extra funds, you can get a you can get a free weapon from a shop, whether you unlock it through the occult shop or an illegal den, or just starting out if you're just starting the game and you happen to get Miku quickly because you unlock her, you can go to the dog shop or the or the um, hardware store to get a free weapon, which is really good, and Miku doesn't really have any synergy with allies, so you don't need to worry about the fact that you don't, you can't get any allies. Ill-Fated specifically wor uh, works with Miku in that one of her perks makes this so that when you fail skill checks in under Ill-Fated, you, you heal some reason as well, which means Miku does have a direct quote-unquote counter. But you can't fail too many stat checks because sometimes you're avoiding them. If you're actively going out of your way to fail stat checks um, with Miku, one of Miku's perks, it can be a tactical decision if you know that's going to take something other than reason away, but normally you're not taking them. However, I'm not saying that it's bad. It is still good because there are some events where you'll just automatically fail. 
with no choice in the matter, and Miku, one of Miku's perks directly works with that fact. So, ill-fated Miku works a lot better, if, unless you, of course, you have to get the perk, but that's, for Miku specifically, it can be a good thing. So, moving on to the god, I am going to play ill-fated, because I already selected that. Uh, Spider God, for the same reason, Miku needs to start out early, really weak, and then by the end, hopefully, she's more better prepared, and with her passive, then she is more prepared. Otherwise, you might see some trouble, especially if you speed through a if you speed through a run, then it can get pretty iffy because you can't run from encounters, which you would like to do because you're not ready. But since you can't, you're stuck with what you have at the beginning. Same with the though too, except it's throughout the whole run. So any damage that you do and the enemy does uh, early on is going to hurt you more than you hurt them. But once you get later in the run, or as your doom increases, is which is gonna happen later in the run then hopefully you'll kill things faster with this damage increase so it works toward it works better for you in that way ath or i god is doesn't really interact with miku so this is more a neutral one if you get a spell however that works out with one of your perks then it can be really good otherwise you're mainly just using the extra spell for reason gain by forgetting it, like every other character. Goizo, almost the same thing, except you have to rest less often, assuming you're failing skill checks more often, because you have one of Miku's perks, or you're just be able to defeat counters really easily at the end of, near the end of your run. In the beginning of your run, you might rest once or twice because something bad may happen, but that in the end, that's RNG, so I don't really weigh it against Miku, but although it is a minus in her favor. Without further ado, let's just go into an, uh, let's go into an Itho 2 run. Try to make it a little... If I made a cut there, then sorry, I, it's just that something, something happened in the background, but I will make a cut there. Hopefully that will be that, and we will get into Miku's base stats and the perks, or her passive mainly. Uh, just going over base stats really quickly. 5 strength, 4 dexterity, 3 perception, 4 knowledge, 3 charisma, and luck as always is 6, but you can't see that stat. But Miku does start off with lower overall stats than everyone else because of her passive. Her passive is every 20% doom you get 1 plus 1 to all of these stats. Strength, dexterity, perception, knowledge, and charisma. So at the end she will have higher overall stats. But it, you need 20% Doom. So if, assuming most of the runs, you'll reach 80% Doom at the very least by the time you get to the end of your fifth, fifth mystery going into the lighthouse. So ultimately, her base, her end stats will be at least, well, around 9 Strength, 8 Dexterity, 7 Perception, 8 Knowledge, and 7 Charisma. Of course, this doesn't factor in any injuries, curses, status effects, bonuses, allies, perks, and so on and so forth. But you get the idea that Miku is supposed to be a slow burner where she starts off really weak and then she gets stronger as th uh, the later you go on in the game. Because the later you go on in the game, your doom's inevitably, inevitably going to rise. Unless you're a crazy guy like me and you do a challenge where you try to finish the run as Miku as lo low as possible. There's a video for that. Otherwise, we'll get into our perks as we go through the run. I'm going to save that ill-fated level up until I see what mysteries I have and then I'll level up. I'll try to take Miku perks to see what are going on. Let me just check like at light, little, 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 Lighthouse really quick. Light, Takashi, second mystery, Dex, Knowledge. So my so these should be fine, say, assuming I'm Miku, but of course, if I get injuries that reduce my dexterity, knowledge, dexterity and or knowledge, then I can't do those checks without putting into, into a stat myself. That's This is kind of what you can pre-plan as Miku as you're going on. I'm just going to get this early, just, just to shake things up a little bit. Without further ado, I'm also going to get into her stats right now. So, Adrenaline, Faster Combat Actions. This directly adds, well, that's the description anyway, but it directly adds a 0.8 times modifier to your offensive actions. Only offensive actions. Let's go into scissors, shall we? So... If you so if you even if in an, on an all perk run you're, if you have this stacked with fast swimmer it's not additive I believe it is multiplicate it does multiply here if not you can correct me but if it does uh, multiply then that well if it does add it's better but multiply it's not bad either how are you going to avoid a 0.8 modifier with, without further ado we will take it just to see how just to see it work in action. I will take strength just to build the strength and get 6 out here because I'm not going to reach 20% doom and 6 is usually the threshold. We're also going to go into the friend's diary where we let's just make this fight easier. Triangle cup and ball and then we'll go. But yeah, adrenaline is the basically the Miku perk. 
or the perk that you get in an all perk run if you see it because it is a 0.8 times modifier to your offensive action so what are you gonna do skip out on that take the funds here also gotta remember I'm ill fated so yes adrenaline just take it if unless you see a damage perk there are some times where you don't take it if you plan to run a lot uh, then I guess you would not take adrenaline but other than that um, yeah, you're going to you're going you're going to mainly take adrenaline, as opposed to the other three perks. So, I mean, try it out for yourself. If, like I said, unless you plan to run a lot or you have spells to defeat enemies, and you're not, yeah, like I said, if you're not going to go into encounters a lot, then adrenaline is not as used for you in that run that you're doing. Otherwise, well, it is a perk you're missing out on. Going into into a second perk, which would I which I would have liked to have seen on this run is uh, or in my ill fated level up is doomed already. Regain one reason for every failed stat check. These are only rolled stat checks. This doesn't include light stat checks um, <clears throat> in the lighthouse. Hey, I'm posting this in edit. What I just said was wrong. It's wrong. You'll see in the course of this run. Sorry, but yeah, let me check real quick. Eh, it's fine. Uh, so stat checks in the lighthouse that you fail don't uh, contribute towards this. Again, this is wrong. Don't listen to this. I am wrong. I should have checked more. But as it relates to every other stat check that you roll on, you get one reason. So I'm on a ill-fated run, which means, well, it's more useful for me here. That way, every time I fail a stat check, including with a reason, I'll heal one reason as opposed to just taking whatever uh, penalty I get for failing the stat check which would be uh, really bad for me. So Adrenaline doing its work here. I'm going to move on to the third perk, which is less used. And normally people don't even take it. So, I mean, we'll just get into it. Looting. Gain one funds for each defeated enemy. It does what it says on the tin. As soon as you defeat an enemy, which doesn't include escaping or running, then you gain one fund. This is good, If, however, if you plan to go to shops a lot, uh, about four or five times even going to buy things, then that's good. With the addition of vending machines, you can also stack cigarettes on top of your uh, adrenaline if I, if I decided to do so. Otherwise, well, you can just skip out on looting. Most people skip out on looting, but if you do need the funds to get something and you do plan to fight a lot of encounters, then looting does at least give you guaranteed funds. As opposed to the last and final perk that I'll be going over, which is pickpocket. Higher chance of finding items after combat. Now, one thing to say right now, this perk as of 0.9.14, unless I'm specifically using a bugged version of the game, I'm not. I'm, I shouldn't be. But so how it's supposed to work is it's supposed to give you an item, whatever that means. But how it's actually working is it's actually working like looting on a proc chance. And I'm pretty sure that's not at this point. It's my opinion. I'm pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to be working. However, the facts are, as it's working right now, unless someone can correct me, is that it's actually having a chance to give you funds at the end. So it's actually being treated as looting. So in that fashion, it is definitely the worst Miku perk. However, well, that's just that's just how it is uh, in general. And that is just my opinion, but it is worse because why rely on pickpocket if you can get looting? However, if you don't see looting and you have pickpocket and you decide to just try to get funds, I mean, I guess. But I would not take it over Adrenaline or Doomed Already. Where Doomed Already, I mean, if you're going to fail a stat check, so that's going to be reason gain. So the earlier you get it, and an ill-fated run, you're going to heal more on a, on a run. Otherwise, well... You're going to take Adrenaline, and who? no one really skips out on Adrenaline, so yeah. Hopefully I hit this. However, well, we will go into it. This is going to be a little uh, extended talk on Pickpocket. If Pickpocket is working as intended, it could actually be an okay perk. It. I would assume, though, that... Le I'm going to re-roll just to see to get it. Well, okay. Um, the following is a post and edit. I'm about to go over what I think, thought... Uh, pickpocket was supposed to be except when i read the description when it says higher chance of finding items also i looked up online or just thought about it in general when i think about it there were encounters that may have had a chance of dropping items but on that note 
most people would, would are also saying the same. You have a guaranteed chance of finding a lot of items that drop after encounters already. So whether there is whether there are items that only have a chance of dropping after certain encounters, which is where this perk would come in, and it increases those chances. In that case, the perk is still not as useful as the other three perks for reasons I'm about to state. But if it does, if there are once for one, there are enemies that already drop items like Young Witch with Steak Knife, or say the Hunt. Well, yeah, mainly things you understand what I'm saying. It's like this apartment stalker with the baseball bat. There are already encounters where they drop those guaranteed. Now, if there are indeed encounters that I'm forgetting where there are items that may drop on a chance instead of not guaranteed, then that's where this perk would be used. However, compared to the other perks, it is not as useful, like I said, for reasons I'm about to state in the future. You could pick it up if you need those items, if there's one item that's specifically needed for your strat, but because I don't talk about pickpockets use in this fashion, then I just wanted to go over it really quickly. So in that case, yeah, you could still use it for that, but arguably you would still take adrenaline for faster actions, doomed already, and maybe even looting if you like funds, so there's that. Anyway, back to the video. How it, I would assume it work is that gives you an item from a pool of items, which means in the end you're at the mercy of RNG and people still might not take pickpocket, because why roll on a chance to get, say, a bottle of water, which is stamina heal, but if the chance to get an, even then, if the chance to get an item after uh, defeating an enemy, assuming that's how it works, is say 50%, then that means 50% of your encounters you may or may not, even throughout a whole run, it's entirely possible to not get a, uh, to not get an item at all, even through fighting, say, seven encounters. Let's actually do some calculations right here I'm, while I go through this mystery. Uh, let's rest here for free and then go to the festival. But if, say, if you run into seven encounters, what is that? Uh, 50%... So there is, I mean, you will get around one item per seven encounters and maybe a little more, but if it's from a pool of items and not actually all items, then, well, you might, it depends on what the pool item items are, right? If it, if you have a chance of getting Katana, then it makes the perk better looking at the RNG. However, to players more either to a player that is knowledgeable, that has a lot of knowledge on whatever game they're playing, not just World of War, and or very skilled at the game, um, you're normally not trying to rely on RNG. I failed out on purpose to heal more reason, if unless I was already topped off, but... Relying on RNG is not something you want to do as opposed to, say, Adrenaline, where you're a gar you're a guaranteed uh, point in 0.8 times multiplier to your offensive options, or looting where you're guaranteed one funds, or doomed already where you're guaranteed one reason for failing at a, a stat check. Pickpocket doesn't see a lot of use because even if you have a chance to say get a randomly get a katana, and this is a very this is basically setting all this prep up for pickpocket alone. If you have a chance of picking up a katana from an encounter, I can't have assume that that chance is very high, because. To balance it out, you have a chance of getting, say, a broken bottle as well. If it's from a pool of items instead that are that I would assume that's how it would be designed, or how it's supposed to be working right now. Instead, you would probably, on average, get something like, say, like painkillers, or or a prescription drug, or that heals plus two reason or plus two stamina, things of that nature. Then I can kind of see its use, but in the end, still you're at the mercy of RNG. But that could be interesting for a run, but as a perk in itself, as opposed to the other perks she has, or heaven forbid you're on an all perk run, then it doesn't see more as much use because you would rather take fast swimmer stacking on adrenaline or core strength with anatomy class. If you know you're going to run into a lot of human enemies and you take the extra damage, then well, you look at pickpocket compared to any of those perks or a lot of other perks, even some generic perks, then it's not as useful on average than the others and most people wouldn't rely on it and most people don't rely on it right now which is the unfortunate reality but if you are someone who uses pickpocket uh or who plans to use it when it 
when it's uh, working as intended, then that then pickpocket I can see it'll be a okay perk, probably below average in general, but still, still you would still it loses out to at least adrenaline and probably doomed already if you want the guaranteed reason heal because you know you're going to be failing stat checks. Otherwise, as it's working right now, it's a worse version of looting because it's basically looting on a proc chance right now as of 0.9.14. And I last I checked, I don't even believe it was reported because, well, that just goes to show that people don't even use looting over Doomed Already and or Adrenaline. In fact, most people re-roll to get Adrenaline or Doomed Already because those are, you run into encounters more and you fail stat checks more often than you defeat an enemy and hope on the proc chance for pickpocket of getting funds or an item or looting where one funds is nice but what are you going to use it on is what most people would question and if that's not the case then that, it's what i assume they would question so there's that mm, gamble uh do i want to gamble this let's just do this just to be sure why yeah so like i said you could get like i said doing things like attacking three times right here three times for 80 percent 80 percent chance which means the chance of me hitting all of those and not missing is about 50-ish percent. Correct me if I'm wrong. Otherwise, uh, I mean, you do you do brace here to take minus one all damage. And then the next turn, you just kill this leech girl for free. This is what I mean by you kind of don't want to rely on RNG. Otherwise, R if RNG did work out, then I take no damage. But the worst case scenario is that I take minus two all damage. And I have a 50% chance looking at the RNG. So there's that. So now that I have pickpocket, I might as well show you because it appeared. I'm not going to reroll just in case I I still kind of want to survive. What am I using right now? Wooden bat. So let's actually, yeah, let's go into strength three, uh, stamina here. And uh, it's too risky. Take the stamina damage and we'll keep going. But yeah, as it works out right here, I did test. I did make a recording. I don't know if I'll come out with that video, but... I will make a recording where if if I do release it, it's basically me testing pickpocket with looting as well, and I, that's how I know pickpocket is working as a proc chance of version of looting instead of giving you a random item, quote unquote. Unless I'm just really unlucky and it's always giving me one funds, which is technically an item. But there's that. Also, if you noticed, I went into an event where there was no penalty for me failing, but I did but I did fail the event and gain one reason. So that's where, like I said, if uh, doomed already does work out at an ill-fated run or for events where you're just forced to uh, fail we'll say then that's why doomed already I know I'm going to get one reason for events like that so that's why it's better for me to do that also maxing out uh, uh, maximizing the effect of adrenaline I might as well do something like this because I'm guaranteed to get 15 damage uh, and I'm even if I brace I'm only getting I probably getting, I'm getting less damage when I uh, do that when I brace into an attack, so I might as well do this. Also, at this, however, at this point, I might want this is kind of RNG because I have to rely on hitting this. But if I do, then that means I take less damage overall. Again, this is only possible because I have adrenaline right now. If I did not have adrenaline, I'd probably I'd probably have to deal with at least more RNG as opposed to guaranteed actions. And then Doomed already helping me with reason. Even then, I'm, I've am i taken this much damage, but, you know, it's fine. Let Sherosan die here. And I didn't get the funds, I don't think. Maybe I did. I didn't check the stat. It'll, it'll, you'll see it in your stats, and you'll see it in your funds. I think I did, but uh, we'll, we'll check. Because this counts as well, because defeating Sherosan here counts. So yeah, you loot one extra funds from this enemy, which is what you get if you had looting, but instead pickpocket is what's giving me these funds. So it's definitely, if it is supposed to give you an item instead of funds, then it's not working as intended right now. That's just how it is. So, bath is taken away from me. Yeah, that's bad for every character. Let's see, fourth mystery. So now things are now enemies are doing one extra damage on me, along with the health scaling on stacking on top. I am on a I have 26% doom. I do want to <laughs> increase my doom because I'm not currently at where I want to be. But uh I mean to force it, you can rest here. Just the Amiku, uh, some people's 
strat as Miku is to just rest on purpose just to increase their doom so that they have increased stats. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we're going to take that there. Even though that was minus doom, I mean, you still want to see where you're at. I fail every stat check, so this instead this would be... Yeah, let's just take the extra doom. Because you want you want doom as Miku. She is this slow burn where the higher your doom, the stronger she becomes by nature of both stat checks... Well, I'm on ill-fated, so that's not doesn't really apply here. But if you're not on an ill-fated, then your stat checks on top of faster combat actions, depending on what weapon you're doing. So we're going to take looting as well, so that way we have every single Miku perk, so we get to display every single... We get to display all aspects of Miku right here. And as you'll see, uh, I will get one funds, and if pickpocket procs, I'm going to get an extra funds here. Uh, run and Terra, that way we lose reason, because we're going to be getting reason. If not, we're going to go to the vending machine right now and pick up a pack of cigarettes, because, well... Yeah, that's going to be good. I'm going to get one funds. Because, yeah, st cigarettes will stack will on top of your your adrenaline. So, you know, that's going to be really good. It'll also allow me to do some insane, insane attacks, but... Now that we run into this first, uh, do we want to risk this? I can rest, so I mean, okay, I definitely like adrenaline. That, that this speaks for itself. <laughs> it speaks for itself. And I failed that, so I gained one reason for Doom. But I mean, I want Doom to increase. You don't want it. You don't want to reach 100% Doom, obviously, because then you just die. But you do want, I, I'm purposely trying to get Doom, especially now I'm on my last mystery with 44% Doom. Who knew I was going to do a 2080 Miku challenge? I was, I had the potential to do a 2080 Miku on a review run where I'm actually not really paying too much attention. But that's just how, that's just this part of the reason why people believe Miku is good. And I'm inclined to believe them because if you're on a character specific perk run, and you get all of Miku's perks, then pretty much you usually don't worry about encounters as much. That said, to make this spicy, we could also equip the Demon Mask, which is good for me because, I mean, I'm already under the max stamina. So I could rest here a bit more and I'll be stuck at 8, but that's fine because I do an extra point of damage stacked on top of a Dotu. Like I said, it should speak for itself. So, Doom when Doom rises, oh goody, I got extra one stat for everything else, and at the lighthouse, I can just rest until 80%. Raising a bit high, but it's fine. I'm also going to smoke these cigarettes, because these should last me till the end of the game, but if I'm feeling a little really frisky, I can get another pack of cigarettes and then beat an encounter, that way I don't have to worry about getting pickpocketed. If I run into two encounters, otherwise... Oh, I lost two reason. Oh, but I gained one reason. You can see how Adrenaline and Doom already are paying off for themselves, specifically on an ill-fated run. If I pass a stat check, it's not like anything bad is going to happen to me, so... You know. Take the Dexterity here, increase, and I could just do whatever I want at this point. But this is a run going well, and... Granted, this is late game where I have all all of these things prepared. If this is if I ran into an encounter like the the obsessed man early in my first mystery, then it can it could have gotten really bad because all I had was punches and kicks kicks at that point, which you know wouldn't be good for me. But since I fought him later on with adrenaline only, then well I just destroy him. It's it's that simple. So we're going to rest here a bunch just to force myself to get 8 knowledge, 8 dexterity. And if I forget my second mystery, I can actually just mash through this. But we'll, we'll, we'll pay attention just for the sake of going through. Takshisan, even doing 3% doom, is going to crumble before the might of my... Can I even fit a strong... I can't, so he actually just dies here. Adrenaline, again... Looting. Oh, I, I looted one funds from Takashi-san, and also pickpocket. I mugged this man. I didn't even know. Miku, this is the power of Miku, by the way. Fear Festival. And I and I failed that stat. Did you notice that right there? That I failed that stat check? So that stat check in particular is a failure. But if you fail these stat checks in particular, you don't get it. If you do get it, then I, it, I guess that just makes Doomed already better. Assuming if, if that is the case and I'm wrong. Otherwise, it's not like it's any worse. As you said, as you just saw in this ill-fated run, I kind of just crushed it. I didn't need. I 
technically have 65% doom here because I rested on purpose to reach 80% doom. So at the end of this review, yeah, Miku is an okay. I I would I already thought of her as an above average character. Of course, you do have to make sure that she she you have a plan for the early game because that's starting out. She does have decreased stats if you don't pick up a strength weapon. Even when you do pick up a strength weapon, she has five strength. Ill fated, you get that free level up, so you could build into strength right away. But ill fated kind of works for Miku, so that's kind of not fair because with doomed already. As you just saw, regaining all that reason, that's reason at least you're mitigating if you lose reason. Also on reflection, if you're playing ill-fated and you're going to fail every single skill check, well the fact that Miku has lower stats at the beginning doesn't really matter because on a normal run without ill-fated, having lower stats means you're probably going to fail more stat checks. But if you're on ill-fated, it doesn't matter if your stats are low, you're going to fail every single stat check. So that's, so, that's, so that's another plus for Miku's synergy with ill-fated backstory. Otherwise, you can technically trade out stamina or doom to regain one reason in those events. Adrenaline speaks for itself, it makes you faster and it allows me to do things like absolutely destroy Toxicon at the end there, or destroy most encounters if you stack it on top of things like Fast Women or an, on an all-perk run. Heaven forbid you get core strength with adrenaline on an all perk run, but you can see it put put itself to work there. And then looting is nice if you're like me and you like to smoke cigarettes near the end of the game, just to make yourself faster on top of adrenaline, which is how I like to build. Otherwise, most people take those funds. You can get recovery items as well. You can pick up another, say, another weapon or something that you can equip on slot B, slot C early on, assuming you get into an encounter and you only get looting. And then pickpocket is a proc chance of looting, so if you need the extra funds, eh, but you're normally taking adrenaline or doomed already if you see them appear with the level up. So there's that. So without further ado, that should be the end of this review for Miku. In the end, like I said, okay character at the very at bare minimum. Above average character on my list, but all characters are still banded together for me. So I wouldn't say pick Miku over Haru if I was forced in a quick play. But I do, but I do, I do like Miku as well, and Haru is my favorite character, but Miku is good. So, next, last character should be Moriko, which I will go over probably, probably after this recording directly. I don't plan to do any other video, so Moriko will be the last one, and that will be the end of my review series. But if you made it this far, then I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, I do plan to do more content, not just a review series. And not just the challenge series as well. I plan to do other things just out of the fun of it. There are a lot of things to go over and I have still not yet touched mods. So there's that. But one last time I'd like to thank everyone for watching. This is Jared and MML and I'm out.